Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau, hier Chateau de Colombe. Äh, wir haben vier Themen heute und das erste ist äh, eine, eine, eine Rangpflanze, die innerhalb von drei Wochen unsere großen Pfeiler, Torpfeiler völlig äh, eingerankt hat. Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in saint -Baudel. And now to our English-speaking friends from around the world, uh, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. And four subjects today, or, uh, well, segments. And mm -hmm. the first one, oh, good Lord. Yeah, and you had talked about this briefly before. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's uh, the problem with nature trying to take over. And, uh, well, nature always wins. However, yeah, right will. now it's it's the the... It's a climbing vine that attaches to things. So we, we talked about that the, the pillars were basically, including the urns, completely gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, we tackled that. We did. this so as I said before uh, we talked about it have a look at this this grew uh, the top there it was two days ago it was none or three absolutely insane so I'm going to now take this all down because this is ridiculous and it's not good for our pillars Isn't that amazing how uh, beautiful those the, the gates with the, the posts look when they're not, well, when they're not invisible. <laughs> right. And, and you know, we had, we had spent so much time, you know, with uh, Tony. Yes. Uh, working on the gates and the pillars and everything. It's a shame to, <laughs> to, to let nature try to take it back. Right? Well, and, and Martin and Margaret, I mean, they worked so hard mm -hmm. to just get the ivy off of the bridge. Right. So clear the it, moment, it's yeah. a nice, nice view. Mm -hmm. And... Ah, uh, really happy that that's done, and that is, um, and it's kind of like what uh, Terry Nash just did at this Cape uh, to the Dream. These are this is what we do have to do every year mm -hmm. twice. So it's this is not oh it's done great. No, this is <laughs> it's ongoing. <laughs> See you back next year, right? Um, but uh, we have an update about the pole. So right, and for those who may have not seen it, no. so we had. Uh, a day where three poles were put up right outside the chateau uh, and we weren't really quite sure what they were or why they were going up no one contacted us about it and we did find out that they are for fiber optic the fiber optic cable that is uh, going through everywhere in France so they're not putting them underground here no we don't know why but they don't so it is what it is but that our mayor, Fabienne, she uh, got got my email and she she just went right at it. And so it was uh, Friday, 
uh, last Friday, it was about well, 5.30 when basically almost everyone in France is, uh, that works in government or public works. They're done. Noon. They, noon. That's it. Mm -hmm. So out of the blue, we were just outside with uh, sitting there with Tony and uh, having a beer and two cars stopped and it was Fabienne and she brought uh, the head of the public works here. Mm -hmm. And everyone looked at this poll and... and there was no question. He said, that looks terrible. <laughs> right. So there was no argument. It was lovely. And right. so uh, the poles will stay, but they are uh, kind of will blend into the landscape. But the one that is on our side will be removed. Another one will put on the opposite side of the road. And then there will be one at the end of the farmhouse, not at the end of Stewart. I just yes, realized I don't what know. I'm doing. I don't, know, I don't know why I'm the subject of your pointing, but okay. So that was so that's, that's, that's it. It's yes, it's it's a good news, bad news. I mean, I mean, the bad news is that yes, there are going to be polls there, but the good news is is that the one that was the biggest eyesore and yep. really blocking our gate, they are going to move that pole. I drink to that absolutely. So that yes. was uh, such good news. It was, and we will film when it's removed. Actually, hopefully, <laughs> yes. Hopefully, we will know when that happens, so I can get out there and I can film that being taken. You better, out. yeah. Exactly. So, uh, just this past weekend, uh, as we had mentioned, we went to one of the biggest brocantes in our area, which is in Touche. Yes. And we met up there with uh, Jane and Tony. It was a lot of fun.
So you probably noticed that one of the things that Patrick is carrying around from the brocante is uh, a bed crown uh, that we bought another large bed crown. And that is for the, well, for the room that I call the Toile de Stouille room, which he hates. <laughs> it's not Toile de Stouille. Okay. You, well, you created it. Yeah. So um, that, that bedroom will have this bed crown in it. And we had, uh, we, we planned this for a while um, and we actually started to renovate. Right. And one of the first things that we needed to do was we needed to get a full functioning bathroom into that room. Yes. So one of the next projects that we're going to be working on at the Chateau is one of our bed and breakfast rooms, which is going to be this room here. And we need to get, do some work in it because we need to have a functioning bathroom going on in here. So Patrick is in here today. Checking no, out. It just appears that way. Ah, and uh, this is in the alcove closet. You can see it's an alcove bed here. And this is a alcove closet to one side that currently has just a sink and a bidet. Hello. Hello. So what's the plan? What's the plan, Stan? I, so the plan is, so when you, if you could have a look here real quick. So this comes out. This is a built-in. Right. So this was a, a built-in cabinet in this alcove. Still is, so to yes. speak. But you can see the, the paneling in there. Yeah. The old paneling. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, definitely not original. So, no, no. <laughs> right. And we've seen this, and unfortunately for us, we've seen this uh, little checkered wallpaper in a few other places in the Chateau that they decided to throw into closets. Well, they were so. all places that were um, uh, uh, next to an alcove. Right, right. So, so I'm emptying this out. So and the plan is, is that we're going to get this out of here, yes, right? Yes. Because it wouldn't have been in here anyway. Right. And then we'll have more space in here to actually make this into a bathroom. Yes, and there's a lovely wood floor, which will not stay because, well, it will stay, the, the floor itself. But right. it will be a slight step up mm -hmm. to get, this is so warped. Oh, yeah. And what we don't want to do is is rip tear everything off because right. we don't need to. We have to do that in a couple of other places. But right. so I'm right now just taking things out of here. Let's see where is it? Oh, that wasn't even locked. Okay. Okay. Uh well, it is actually, some of these are pegged, but then I have the new lines for for the heating system, the hot water lines. Right. They are actually uh, yeah, right here. Oh, they go through there. Yes. They go right through yes. this, this, this wardrobe. So this I need to take apart a bit more. Okay. Now I'm curious, I have, okay, oh. Ah. Okay, that I have never seen either. But so this checkered wallpaper actually has a backing that is a netting. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, exactly. But, hello. Good morning. But behind it, oh, you can wow, see a much that. older, really pretty look at that. blue floral. And there's a, uh, there's like a... That's something else. A, a, a different one down there, too. Oh, yeah, it was a border for yes. that, probably, wasn't it? So this... Blue border. Must have been quite lovely at some point. Yeah, it's a great color blue. blue. So, the thing that I'm curious about, it's... There's some warp... It's... Something is warped here, so I'm... Right. I'm kind of curious what I'm... <coughs> kind of, oh! Three layers of wallpaper, yay! Out of here. Okay. So, see, this is really old. Then you have this. Oh yeah, look at that. 
It's like a tiny little print. And someone on that one tore it off a bit, right? But uh, only a bit. And then it has this blue floral pattern underneath it. That's the oldest. Yeah. And since we know that this was th this wall was built in 1640, so we don't know when this was put in. Right. But they would not have had it undecorated. But this also could have been just a simple paper. But it's it's fascinating. And up there, the uh, molding ends in a real, uh, really odd angle. That's not normal. No. No, and you can see over here, you can see where the paneling is. And, and this molding is was made specifically for this room. I mean, this right. was put in here a long time ago. Yeah. But it's interesting, there is no indecency door, <laughs> as I like to call them. Yeah, we thought that maybe because it was an alcove bed with this closet in it, that maybe there might have been a decency door going into... Well, we don't know. Maybe that's over here. But, it, but yeah, we haven't taken everything off yet, so who knows? Well, I've done enough. Oh, I've done some damage already. Let's go a little more. No door. No. So there. But so it is. Yep. The old alcove wall. Fantastic. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can. Some of that looks like it actually might come up. So yes, we can actually get some of the, some of those pieces off of there, so we can keep those yeah, pieces. Oh, absolutely. Yes. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah.
that was very satisfying to get that out and uh, a nice find behind that uh, really ugly wallpaper. <laughs> it is ugly. Yes, that top layer was pretty bad. But, you know, finally we have somewhere in the chateau where we are able to actually collect samples of old wallpaper. Yeah, so it's historic wallpaper and it's, uh, well, we know, um, the, the, that wall is just very rough um, oak. Mm -hmm. So, and they just stuck wallpaper to it. So there, there are multiple layers on there. So right. Stuart will have to uh, painstakingly kind of separate them so we have examples of what was there. Now I'm curious what's on the other side. Right, right. And we will do that later when we start taking the wallpaper off of the actual room itself. Right. right. Now, one thing I can say, I was very hopeful. We didn't find any rubies, emeralds, diamonds, or uh, tiaras, nothing. No, no, no. hidden treasures. I, I, I found one, um, uh, one uh, old currency piece, uh, uh, coin, mm. which you can't even, so I can't do anything with it. Um, I found a stamp, knitting oh, needles, right. and a lot of hairpins that just slipped in somewhere. That was, that was the, the complete bounty of, <laughs> that's, of that thing. That's sad. <laughs> it is. It's sad. It's, uh, so you, you start deconstructing and you're so hopeful. And then at the end, you just, you're just as poor as you were before. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it's it's fantastic, um, and it's a good start to getting that B and B room. Yes. Yeah, so, and for the the people who said, are you doing any renovations? Are you going to showing any any renovations? So, there's a start of one of them, mm -hmm. and so bear with us. Uh, we are working on it. Right. So uh, that's it for this episode. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like, please give us a thumbs up on this episode. Uh, please share with your friends. Uh, subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, so please subscribe and to our channel. And it helps us a lot. It does. You can also join us on Patreon if you want to, right. uh, to help us re restore the chateau. And we really appreciate all the comments, and we are still replying to almost everyone. Uh, thank you so much. See you next time. A bientôt. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.